What's up, y'all? Hotep Jesus. We back. So I was sitting here enjoying my crispy fried plantain. And this equal payday thing came across my timeline. And I was going to do a Twitter rant. But I did not want my words to be misconstrued or taken out of context. People like to do that with me. And I wanted everybody to understand this thing very clearly. Now, before we go into it, I'm going to preface by saying white supremacy does not exist. The only thing that does exist is black weakness. Now, let's go into this. So, Bernie Sanders and his team of propagandists create this graphic here. And it says gender pay gap. And I'll post a link in the description so you guys can see it. But it says white men, Asian women, white women, black women, Hispanic women. Right off the bat, you already noticed that there's no other men included in this thing. Just white men. Right. Cool. So speaking to one of my fathers last night, Joseph Metzler, today he tweets me, he says, Nigerians have the highest income per cap in the USA. So I did a little bit more research. Come to find out. Bloomberg.com publishes a statement that says Nigerian Americans, for instance, have a median household income well above the American average. That includes many white and Asian groups. Black immigrants in the U.S., Earn 30% more than U.S. blacks, according to BlackEnterprise.com, Stacey Tisdale. These black immigrants include Jamaican, Haitian, Nigerian, Trinidadian, etc. It seems that our Caribbean and African counterparts don't have a problem with white supremacy or oppression once they get here. VOA News says Indian Americans are the richest ethnic group in the United States. Earning a median income of $100,547 in a 2013 uh, census. So it seems like every other ethnic group doesn't have a problem with white supremacy or a pay gap. Except for black people and Hispanic people, right? This is what they try to tell us. Uh, so, what's the play here? Obviously, divide and conquer. I've, I've said it before. But they want to keep us fighting back and forth. They want, they want the people, the poor, to fight amongst themselves while the rich stay rich. The they. They want to keep this race war going. That's what this whole thing is about. So that we never turn around and look at them. So we never turn around and have time to look at the crooks. So we never have time to turn around and actually fix our own communities. Um, Brother Doe Dubes. Referring to the fact that Asian men earn more than everybody. He says, seems like black people are fighting for second place. <laughs> this is true. This is stupid. This is asinine. This is ridiculous. Um, why are we fighting for second place? If Asians are first, why aren't we fighting for first place amongst the Asians? Asians include Indian and Orientals. And what have we done, the SJWs? The feminist groups, the Black Lives Matter groups, the social justice warriors, they have included Indians as POC and claim that they're just as oppressed as us. But as we can see, the Indians earn more than everybody. So this is where there's a disconnect because we've grouped these other groups with us. We, we assume that they're oppressed. They're not. <laughs> they're doing way better than all of us. They're doing better than a white man. Again, how can white supremacy exist when other groups are out earning them? It just doesn't make sense. It just does not add up. This is what happens when you start doing independent thinking. The fact of the matter is, the only thing holding back black people is black people. Your income should not be based upon a job. Your income should be based upon the cash flow that you create for yourself. So you're waiting for some white man or Asian man or any man to pay you. There's going to be a problem. You have to take responsibility for yourself and your community to create that income. It's a free market enterprise out here. Anybody could get it. The thing is, the SJW groups are making money off of the race industry, race or racism is an industry, it's an economy. People make money off of it. And and the faux black leadership makes money off of victimization and, and, and pushing this whole white supremacy narrative. The problem is, 
As long as we blame white supremacy, we never take responsibility for our own actions. It gives us an excuse. So we never actually, actually, never ever have to actually do any work. We can just blame it on white people. Isn't it easier to just blame your problems on somebody else and just say, oh, it's their fault and never actually have to get up and do the work? That's, that's, that's what we're dealing with here today. White supremacy isn't holding black people back. Black people are holding pe black people back. Um, you'll see. Check the comments in this video. In a, in a couple of days, you'll see black people attack me. When all I've done was put out a positive and accurate message. Self-accountability, self-responsibility, master your own destiny. This is what we teach in Hotep. This is why people hate Hoteps. We're not here to make excuses. We're not here to perpetuate white supremacy. White supremacy cannot exist if Asians out earn them. That's just a fact of the matter. Make sure y'all subscribe, y'all. I'll be back with more videos. Hotel.